was supposed to be a happy moment, a relief to finally cross the border of the United States. But after months, sometimes years on the road, the dream quickly turned into a nightmare for these refugees from Haiti. We were hungry. They didn't give us a blanket or a piece of carton board to lay on. We were cold and dirty and everything. Everything happened to me. But thanks to God, I have a little bit of hope that everything will be okay. Taken from the bridge, he was brought to a facility where he could finally shower, eat, and put on fresh clothes. Roberto Marquez is fighting the deportation of the thousands of refugees who came here last week. The solution is to bring some business people and, and, and they'll take care of this problem in five minutes. What they would do is they give him work because that's what they're looking for. For President Joe Biden, this is another crisis that he needs to address immediately. After his controversial withdrawal from Afghanistan leading to tens of thousands of Afghans to resettle in the United States. Critics of the president believe that his policies have caused the growing refugee crisis. The border town Del Rio with its 36,000 inhabitants is in crisis mode. The bridge to Mexico is closed, border control, police and military is everywhere. The whole world seems to watch how the United States are going to handle the 14,000 refugees who crossed the Rio Grande in the last few days. I think the only people that were caught by surprise were the politicians, you know, because the people on the ground, the citizens, you know, former Border Patrol agents and the current law enforcement here, they knew this was going to happen. Under President Trump, we had the Remain in Mexico policy. Uh, Trump. Uh, put pressure on Mexico, uh, the trade specifically. And so when Mexico had an incentive to cooperate and be a good neighbor, they, they helped us out. But Biden came in and took all that off the table and this is what has happened. After waiting all day long, the bus finally arrives to pick up those refugees who can afford a ticket and prove they have family in the US with whom they can stay. A glimmer of hope for some at a place where long journeys often come to a cruel end.